Hey guys. Happy Saturday. Yes, it is. Hi, Lynn. Sue. Yes, it is. Ooh. Inception. Hi, Grace. Hi, Celesta. Hey oh, guys, shit. don't forget um don't forget the thumbs up. I have to log into my other one. I was in my wrong. Hi Jeffrey. Hola. Hi Mary. Hey Laura. Laura, I got a deck of cards for you today. <laughs> Margie. Hi, Margaret. Both Margarets. Hey, Lynn. Hi, Georgie. Hi, Diana. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. A lot of Lynn's in the house today. I wish I, I... Okay, you're from Mexico. I don't know very much Spanish, so I apologize. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Karen. Lois, Susan. Hi, LABZ. Hi, Randy. Hi, Joyce. Humpty Dumpty. That's okay. I'll hold them for you, Laura. <laughs> I know the feeling. Trust me. I have to stay off of these live sales. <laughs> Hi, Nellie. Lynn Hampton. I saw you pop in there. Sonora, Mexico. Thank you for that. Hi, Al. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Hey, Liz. Tammy. Out of the thrift stores, right? Oh, you can translate for me. Thank you very much. Hi, Cynthia. I mailed your packages today. I had to send two packages because I didn't want to send the other stuff with the tea set. We went to an estate sale too and had to wait for over an hour because I didn't know they were doing numbers and it wasn't all that. It was mediocre at best. Hi, Pat. Yeah, mediocre, I guess. Hi, Jules. Hi, Connie. Where's Annie P? I know. Where's my girl Annie P? Hi, Virginia. Oh, got 87 people here so far. Hi, Hemlock. You found another Jasco Bell? I found a few more today, too, at the uh, state sale. Oh, yeah, we were out all day today. And it was very uneventful. Got Miami it. under a hurricane warning. Oh, no, Monica. What part of... Oh, Miami. she just said Miami. Duh. I was going to say what part of Florida. Uh, I was in the sun a little too long today. Yay, Denise. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, be safe, Monica. Wow, that's got to be scary as all heck. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, good. I got a lot of items today. And I also have um, four best offer items, too. So we'll do those in between. And we have um, also Jessica has Disney items today. So that'll be cool. And um, I guess I'll go over all the rules. Do you want me to do it? I feel like... Go right ahead. My, she, she feels she's very efficient. You go right ahead. Okay. So <laughs> the rules for the live sale. If there is something that you want from the live sale, the, the only way that you can get it is if you comment the number of the item. Um, the first person that we see on our end who says the correct number will win that item. Now, Mom, what do you do if you are the one who wins the item? If you win the item, you have to email me, and Jessica will put my email address in a, a few times throughout 
the sale. And my email address is in the description box of all of my videos. So you are going to email me your real name, your YouTube name, the items you purchased, and your PayPal email address. That way I can send you an invoice through PayPal. Also, if you guys do not pay your inv invoices within 72 hours, your item will be retracted and put Re towards another sale in the future. Right. Um, I, I'm not, I don't want to have to chase people for their payments. Now, I understand sometimes, and it's happened, I make mistakes on the person's email address. Hi, Poodle. Hi, Tina. Um, and that is why, you know, I didn't hear from them. But if you email me and I email you back and let you know, you know, send you your invoice and everything, and then I don't hear from you, the stuff is going to be resold. Uh, also, each item is priced for the item only, not including shipping. Shipping will be calculated once you guys exchange your shipping information because everything will get weighed at that point once it's all packaged up securely and in the box. If you do not have PayPal, you can use PayPal as a guest and pay with a credit card. This is what I'm told, so I don't know, but that's what I've been told. Am I correct? Hi, Joanne. So um, also, if you find that you are lagging, make sure that you are in the live chat option, not top chat, and also make sure that you refresh the page. Sometimes you have to close out totally and then come back in. And just know that it is the person that we see first on our end. You may see yourself first, but it all depends on who we see, okay? Yeah, and we have two phones that are going to be looking at, you know, the, the chat. So right. we're seeing it in two different variations. So if Correct. you're seeing numbers before numbers are given out, you just need to close out Got and come knows. back in. Did I cover everything? I think I did. And as I said, we will make sure to um, throw my email address in there for you guys periodically throughout the sale. Uh, so I have a lot of stuff here. So let's get started. Uh, well, since I was just talking to Laura Bemos about this deck of cards, um, I'm going to show that first. These are really cool. So let me, uh, the thing is taped shut, so I got to see if I can open it without um, breaking anything. Nope. Made in Belgium. Anyways, it's this set of cards. <laughs> you know you're, what is it? You over know you're 50. over 50 when you feel like the morning after and you can swear you haven't been anywhere. <laughs> So this is the front of the cards. This is the back of the cards. And it has all the different uh, things on the back. Each and card is different. It has yeah, a different saying. Each card is different. I would show you, but the, the case is taped shut. So this awesome set of cards is $6. And it's number 42. $6, number 42. Shirley Pearl. <laughs> Shirley Pearl, guess what? I forgot to send your um your napkin ring holders again from the the Christmas sale that I had. So I took them out and have them sitting in front of me. So I will remember to put them in your next package. Holy cow, I can't remember anything anymore. All right, so I'm gonna be ducking up and down, guys putting sold things on the floor because I have no room. Alrighty, I have a couple of really, really cute animal figurines. Um, these are made in Mexico. And it was a line, um, they called them the blue ribbon animals. And they made all different animals. 
Um, they are made by Art Effects, and they're from 1994. So I have, wait do you see this little guy. <laughs> Look at that little butt. Oh my goodness. Look how stinking cute he is. He is adorable. They are like a, a bisque. They are absolutely adorable. So I have one rhinoceros. So this little guy is uh, $5 and he's number 20. $5 number 20 for this little cutie. Cheryl Hoskins. Cheryl Hoskins. All right. And I also have that one reminds me of Precious Moments for some but reason. It's, yeah, I know it's not, not but, but it kind of gives off that vibe. I also have this adorable little bunny. He is also uh, a part of the set. And they all have names, but I can't remember what the names are. But um, anyways, she is just adorable. And she is also $5. And she's number 35 Five dollars, number thirty-five. She'd be cute out at Easter time. Hey, good morning. Hi, Anna. You snuck in, girl. I didn't even see ya. All right. Mom, what's my favorite animal? What the rabbit? I said, what's my favorite animal? A rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's put these little cuties down here. Okay, I have a really beautiful vintage baby planter. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's uh, more of a matte, a very light sheen on the finish. But it's just beautiful. It's actually pretty clean on the inside. And this is made by Relpo. And I just love the colors. So this little baby booty planter is $12 and it's number 45. $12, number 45. Uh-oh, I hear crickets. <laughs> Nobody liked my little baby planter, huh? The little booties. I love it. Okay, that one will go there. Okay. All right, I have a uh, cute little set here. So this set is made by Home and Guardy, Guardy. <laughs> Home and Garden Party. <laughs> Um, I think they go back to like the 80s, I want to say, but it's, it's like a stoneware and it's this beautiful sugar bowl. I don't even think it was ever used to tell you the truth. There it is. Let me turn it this way. Home and garden party. Oh, God bless you. So there's the sugar bowl and then it comes with the salt and pepper shakers. But no creamer, darn it. So, this set is $12, and it's number 19. $12, number 19. Fiona was the baby hippo, okay. Uh, Georgie Campbell. Okay, Georgie, you get this really pretty set. I think, it. look at the flowers on there. It's so pretty. Looks like a wildflower bouquet, kind of. Yeah, it's really cute. Uh, and I thought I saw somebody type in number 45. Did somebody want the baby yeah, plant? Yeah, Crazy to? Doxy Lady. Oh, okay. Crazy Doxy Lady. Okay. I just saw that. 
All right. Okay, I have um, some milk glass for you guys today. Okay, I have this set of milk glass. Uh, I guess you could call them beer steins. Um, it has like a colonial scene of people sitting in a bar. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see one. Can you see it? They're like sitting at a table and they have drinks on. They're in a bar. They're kind of. The Come one on guy now. looks like a little, like a German guy. Like yeah. He's got like a Pinocchio hat. With I the mean, feather. if I lived back then, I'd be at the bar every day too. <laughs> but, um. These are made by Federal. There's the bottom. Let me see if you guys can, there it is. You can see the F there. So this uh, set of milk glass um, beer steins are $12 and they're number 24. $12, number 24. Darlene Holgerson. Darlene Holgerson, you get number 24 for $12. I just had a flashback of Stephanie going, $2 holla. <laughs> Do you have oh. any fall type decor today? Um... I would say no. No, not really. I really... Uh, wait, that, is that a turkey? Oh! A turkey yes, I do. You. A, a turkey, turkey for me! <laughs> yes, hold on. Let me grab it, Here, guys. I'll get it. This looks detrimental. Nah. All right. I forgot all about this, and I actually, you, madam. I actually bought this because I was going to keep it myself, but I decided not to. <laughs> this is, uh, this is Ironstone, and it is called King Tom. Uh, an American tradition, hand-decorated, underglazed, genuine ironstone. So this is the plate. And I also have a cup and saucer to match. It's in great shape. It does have crazing. And it does have some darkening on the bottom under the glaze. But other than that, there's no cracks, no chips. And this is a this is a decent sized plate. So dinner plate. Um maybe a bit bigger. It's than a, a it's it's plate. bigger than a dinner plate. I would say it's about 12 inches around. Oh, I just I just realized I should have held the plate. It would have gone with my oh, aesthetic. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, so for the set, okay? It is $20, and it's number 34. $20, number 34 for the Ironstone plate. Mary Scott. Okay, Mary Scott. You get big old Tom Turkey. Is that what it was? No, Big Tom. No, King Tom. I don't know why I can't remember that. Let me show you the, there's the marking on the back. She said, yay! <laughs> That's about the only fall thing I have. Okay. Uh, how about a little bit of butterfly gold? Are there butterfly gold fans out there? I know a lot of, I actually, my whole set of dishes are uh, butterfly gold. So, Today I have the creamer and the sugar bowl. Uh, these are Corel. Perfect shape, no cracks, no chips. Doesn't have a lid though, okay? So you get the set for $10 and it's number 21. Number 21 
for $10, the Butterfly Gold Creamer and Sugar. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> All right. Ugh, nobody wants the Butterfly Gold. Okay, well, again, I have some more Butterfly Gold. This time I have a set of uh, the hook cups and the saucers. Hi, Renee. So you get two cups, two saucers. They're in excellent condition. And these are $10 and they're number 22. $10, number 22. All right, crickets, okay. I have a couple of very, very vintage items here, guys. You saw me haul these a while back. <laughs> Hang on, I got, I got to I got to fix the hair. Sophie, girlfriend, no. Hey, how you doing? Look at her. Is she not snappy? She is leather. And of course, she is like a turquoise or an aqua color. <laughs> she looks like Nathan. she would be in a beauty shop or something. Right. <laughs> Fifi, Virginia calls her. Fifi, yes. How cool is she? So this little girl is eight bucks and she is number 11. <laughs> eight bucks, number 11. Look at the tail. Bing. <laughs> Tina B. All right, Tina B, you get number 11. <laughs> now don't be sad because I have another one. <laughs> Someone said she has fair faucet hair. Right. <laughs> All right, so this one is also $8. Hang on, let me take it out of the bag. This one still has this tag. Hang on, we gotta fix the do. Hold on. Hey, <laughs> look at this tail. And it's bendable. Still has the tag. Uh, this is made by Herman Pecker and Company. And uh, it's Japan. That one's like a felt. And this one is a, is like, it, it is. It's like a felt. Uh, it's not leather like the other one, okay? <laughs> so this one is $8, number 13. $8, number 13. I think she is Tina awesome. B. Tina B. <laughs> she is awesome. <laughs> Elderly Poodle was trying. I bet you were Poodle, weren't you? <laughs> All right. Okay. I have a uh, very simple set of ice tongs for you guys. If you guys have an ice bucket and you don't have the tongs, very simple. Um, I'm assuming they're like chrome or whatever. Uh, these are $4 and they're number 27. $4, number 27. Oops, get over there. Tina said she's been waiting for them to show up in the live. Oh. <laughs> she's so excited. Hi, Darby. <laughs> All right. Next, I have this really cool, uh, this is from the Bob's Merrill Company, and it is this awesome little kid's bowl it has Raggedy Ann and Andy on the inside. It's really adorable. I love it. And it looks like it was never used. 
There's the thing on the bottom. Is it like a hard plastic? Yes, it's a, it's like a melamine. Hi, Michelle. So this is $5 and it's number 37. $5, number 37 for the little kid's bowl. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Wait, what number was that, Mom? Number 37. Uh-uh. Come on. I'm just going to rename it. Shirley Pearl, your number is going to be 56. I done messed up again, guys. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Hey guys, Binks is here. Say hi. Binksy, say hi. Say hello. <laughs> For someone who is usually so vocal. I know, now he's being real quiet. He's like, put me down. Okay, well, can you get your tail out of my armpit? Oh. <laughs> I have uh, everybody saying hi, Binks. <laughs> I have uh, something different. Oh, he's trying to oh, go. Oh no! No. <laughs> uh, hi, buddy. Hi. What are you doing? Hello, sir. Hi. <laughs> You're missing it. There we go. Yep, there he is. Got to be with mom. Come on, buddy. Right? <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. It's thrifted. <laughs> and I'm having a hot flash right now, guys. So, oh, MG. Yo, where's your fan at? It's in the bathroom. Oh, oh my goodness. I can't help you. I ain't got nothing. Technical difficulties. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm trying a little something different. I have some scrapbooking slash crafting supplies for you guys. Um, so in this bag, okay, this bag you're going to get, hold on because I have them in several. Okay, so in this bag you will get this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Metal charms. Metal charms. <laughs> I'll just read the thing. Um, these are uh, just textured papers. Cardboard. Yeah. Textured cardboard. Can you tell I don't do scrapbooking? Here's more. Brown. And then two sheets of this color. Then you hit, we have some uh, leaves. But they're like, um, like a, they're, they feel velvety kind of like, I don't know, suede or, you know, and then we have these wood, uh, clock embellishments. And then we also have, um, some wedding themed scrapbooking items. We have, these are by Jolie's Boutique. We have some little wedding bells. We have some um, doves. We have bridal veils and flowers. Champagne and glasses. Oops, sorry, self. Two uh, intertwined hearts. Look at that. Hmm. The groom's tuxedo set. <laughs> and this awesome car. So, you get everything that I just showed you. And, ah. Uh, is it the same? It's, I, th I think it is. Just double check if it says each. Okay, well, so we'll make another number for this one. Make uh, make it number the last uh, number. Okay. So this will be six dollars. 
for all of this stuff here, and it's number 57. $6, number 57. Vicki Haney. Okay, Miss Vicki. Okay, this and I have. I did. I ha yeah, Jessica said, "Why don't you sell these as a lot?" And I said, "Okay." <laughs> so I have another lot of uh, crafting supplies. Mostly stickers, I think. This, yeah, this one is mostly stickers. Uh, so we have some cactus stickers and succulents and succulents yes mm -hmm. no binks get down we have um little bunnies oh that's a baby like for a baby okay we have these that are holographic then we have some fall ones you get these two. You get this one. These. Sloths. Yes, they're sloths. <laughs> we get, or you get, <laughs> we get these uh, labels. Labels. Die cut. Oh. Labels. <laughs> Some more stickers. These are school, like school related stickers. And then these cute little kitties. Another butt shot. I was hoping not, but yeah. All right. So you get all of that for $6.00. And it's number 26. Six dollars, number 26. Vicki Haney. Okay, Vicki Haney. They are yours. Okay. I think I'm going to do a best offer item now. So, I need to get my iPad so I can put the timer on. Give me one second, guys. Oh, guys, I have a question for you. I know you guys have been loving the Disney items, but I have some other things that are still, um, you know, like in the fandom realm, like Care Bears, uh, Hello Kitty and Friends stuff like that. Would you guys be interested in any of those? I see a yes, a yes. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to double check before I go through my storage bins. Poodle, you like, el you like elderly kitty. <laughs> wow. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, I just wanted to make sure before I went in my bin. <laughs> Hello, Kitty. Oh my, oh my God. I really got too much sun today, I think. Holy cow. Wow. All right. So we are going to do a best offer item. So the item for today, one of the items for today, I know I'm losing my mind. I'll be okay, yep. Um, <laughs> so, you may remember this from one of my haul videos. It is a set of four Carnival Glass uh, cups and saucers. The pattern is called Nor Normandy, and they're made by the Federal Glass Company. So there are four cups, four saucers, and the sugar bowl. So how this is going to go is 
when I say start, you, I am going to start the offer at $10. And it'll just go up from there. At the end of the one minute, whoever is right before we say stop will be the winner. Okay? So it would be, um, you could up your offer in $1 increments. So we're going to start with $10. Everybody ready? Start. Okay, we have 12 so far by Jeffrey Ross. Cynthia, we have 30 seconds left, everyone. So far, we're at 15. Hi, Randy. I think my shoulder got burnt again. Mine did. Got burnt again today. Dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, I guess we're going to be at $15. Stop. Oh. KCATX. KCATX. $17. $17. KCATX wins the set of four cups and saucers and the sugar bowl. Thank you. All right. Let me slide these over out of my way here. Okay. So when I showed this item in my haul video, it was pretty popular. So here we go. We have this gorgeous, um, yeah. <laughs> Candy dish, Ma. Candy. No, that's not what I'm thinking. Lusterware. <laughs> candy dish and look at the handles now this guy slightly reminds me of Lucifer <laughs> um, Wow doesn't it he's kind of he's kind of weird looking but it's gorgeous and it's made in I cannot make it out I cannot see what that says but it is a, a, a gorgeous dish. Anyways, this is $12 and it's number one. $12, number one. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Yay, Shirley. <laughs> All right. Okay, I have a couple uh, little figurines here. If anybody likes Scotty dogs, I have uh, two Scotty dog figurines for you guys. <laughs> All right, so we have this set. I think these little guys are cute. They're a gray color, very plain, but I love the expression on their face. They're cute. And these are made in Japan, hand-painted gold castle. That's the stamp on the bottom. So these two little cuties are $6 and they're number 17. Six dollars, number 17 for the little Scotty dogs. Caitlin B. Okay, Caitlin. Hey, how you doing, Caitlin? All right. And I have another set of little Scotty dogs. 
These are standing like in front of a fence with some leaves. These are really, really cute. Um, you can still see a Made in Japan sticker right there. So these uh, little cuties are also $6 and they are number two. $6, number two. Randy Heilman. Randy. All right, there we go. Okay, moving right along. Ugh. Hi, Mary. Here, keep with that theme. Keeping with the dog theme, I have this adorable little dachshund letter holder. Uh, he is adorable. Put the paper in. There we go. <laughs> and the pen goes in there. <laughs> He's in perfect condition. There are no cracks, no chips, no crazing. And uh, he's made by Streamline Imagined is what it says on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can make that out. So this little guy is $12 and he's number 37. $12, number 37. I love him. Caitlin B. Caitlin. You get the little wiener dog for $12. All right. How about some salt and pepper shakers? These are really, really cute. Hi, Lynn. All right. I have this adorable set of salt and pepper shakers, little watering cans. This is what they look like on the other side, if I can turn them. Yeah, I see that. So they are made in Japan, and I just noticed this one has a little chip in the bottom. Actually, it's a large chip. Darn it. <laughs> Hi, Christine. So I'm going to lower the price on these because I forgot about this, um, this little chip here. So these are going to be $6 instead of 8 Six dollars, and they are number 30. Six dollars, number 30. Jeffrey Ross. Okay, Jeffrey. All right. There we are. Okay, I am going to try to sell something for my mom. Of course, I still owe her the money from the other stuff of hers that I sold, but she'll get it. <laughs> so, um, I have a really nice nautical set for a bathroom. From Falsegraph. From Falsegraph. Or you could use it in your kitchen if you would like. So, we have... So. This really cute lighthouse, and uh, you put a candle inside of it. So we have the lighthouse. We have the soap dispenser. <laughs> There's the false craft on the bottom. And we have a soap dish. However, this little oar, the end of it broke off. But if you put it this way, you'll never know. <laughs> so you get the three-piece set, and because the oar is broken, I took that into consideration. So you get all three pieces for $12, and it's number 25. 
$12, all three pieces, number 25. Okay, nobody wants it, huh? That's too bad. It's a cute set. Okay. Um, I have another baby planter. This one is really adorable. Wait, do you guys see this one? Look at this little bear. Uh, hold on one second. Deborah Sherwood, 25. Hey, Rachel. How you doing, girl? So this little this little guy is absolutely adorable. He's real clean inside. He is from 1963. That was a good year. <laughs> so this little guy is 10 bucks, number eight. No cracks, no chips. 10 bucks. Number eight. Jeffrey Ross. All right, Jeffrey, you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, so somebody bought these, right? Yep. All right. It was uh, Debbie, Debbie Sherwood. Okay, Debbie Sherwood. Let me put these aside. Oh, thanks for bearing with me, guys, because I'm a wore out puppy today. All right, um, I have a real pretty teapot. Hi, Invisible Thrifter. I just hauled this recently. I'm sure you guys remember. I have this beautiful teapot. It's bisque, uh, and it has real pretty shades of like olive green, like a moss green. A moss green. It does have some paint loss there. I don't know what that's from. But that's the front. This is the lid. And there are no cracks, no chip. It's glazed inside if you would like to use it. So this little cutie is $10 and it's number three. $10, number three. Lynn Johnson. Okay, Lynn Johnson. All right, I gotta move this stuff. Where are they coming from? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Now, I have um, three sets of these. So, the first three people that we see will be the ones that will each get a set. I wonder if it's coming from her. So, if you guys remember, I showed these in a very recent video. I have these beautiful Christmas trees. These are Department 56. So, we have a tall one, which is probably about seven inches. Then we have two of this size, and these are about five inches. And then we have a small one, which is probably about four inches. So you get the set of four trees. There is the sticker on the bottom, Department 56. You get the set of four trees. For $10, they're number 52. $10, four trees, number 52. Shirley Pearl, Margaret M., and Slick Hendricks. All right. 
So, All right, so Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Uh, Margaret M. Shirley Pearl, Margaret M, and Slick Hendricks all win a set of these trees for $10 a set. The other two I have here are in boxes. All right. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. This is my next item. Hang on, I gotta get rid of the tag because I almost showed you. <laughs> get it off, it's stuck. Okay. These are brass. There is a set of two of these. Show you back here. They're very um, Asian. Yes, very Asian. They're cranes. awesome. They're cr they're cranes in the water underneath like bonsai trees, I would say. So you get the set of two for thirty dollars. And these are number 36. Sophie, please. $30, number 36 for the set. High Collection Vintage. Okay, um, I'm going to do a couple more, uh, two items and a best offer item, and then Jessica is going to do some of her Disney stuff. So, let's see. All right, I have a real pretty set here. This was also my mom's, and... It is this beautiful basket, and it comes with the matching candle holder, which is shaped like a bird cage. It has the candle inside with the holder, and the basket is full of like uh, fake fruits and uh, potpourri. Which you could ditch. Yeah, which you could throw out if you didn't want it. And in fact, you could let me know if you buy it. If you don't want the fruit and stuff, I could take that out. But the fruit pieces are kind of like um, they're like, like the beads. The grapes are beaded. Yeah, those are the grapes. This is like the pear. They're kind of neat looking. Yeah, the fruit is cool. And then there's like these things in there. So, they still smell. <laughs> yeah, they still smell. Kind so, anyways, you get this the set, and the set is $14, and it's number 10. $14, number 10. Cheryl Hoskins. Okay, Cheryl, do you want me to throw out the inners or would you like me to, uh, I could put it in like a plastic baggie and ship it with the basket. Just let me know what you want me to do. Okay. Cheryl says save them. Save it? Okay, I'll put it in a, in a Ziploc bag when I uh, ship it. Okay, I have a very cool mid-century modern ice bucket. Oh my God, you can't do that next time. This is very cool. It's like a faux um, leather. Really, really neat. This is the top. Could you see me? 
very, very cool. And it comes with the ice tongs. So you get the bucket and the tongs for $15 and it's number 40. $15, number 40. Yeah, it is, it's pretty cool. I like it, I especially like the lid. The lid's really cool. Bye, Hemlock. See you later. All right. So nobody wants so the ice bucket. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? He must have went grocery shopping. <laughs> My son just came home with like a ton of groceries or something. I don't know. Anyway, okay, I'm going to do one more item and then um, a best offer. So next I have this really cool green bottle. You could use it to put uh, really tall floral um, florals in it. You could just put it out like this. It's more for decor purposes. You could fill it with your favorite thing to drink, like wine. <laughs> Whatever you would like to do. But it's a very cool piece. And it's got actually hot, um, a blown glass because it's got the bubbles in there. It's really neat. So this is $12 and it's number 18. $12, number 18. I'm sorry if I have a strange look on my face. Okay. <laughs> uh, Lynn Johnson. Those are for me? No. Oh. Oh, that's why I had a strange look. Never mind, guys. All right, so who got this bottle? Uh, Lynn Johnson. Lynn Johnson. She gets number 18. <laughs> right. He can't go behind me. Okay, How's he gonna... ice cream in the freezer. Right? I got all this stuff on the floor. Oh. Put it downstairs, um, Tyler. <laughs> we have the whole doorway blocked, so he can't even get in to, to put his stuff away. <laughs> Um, okay, time for a best offer item. Okay, I have this beautiful necklace and earring set that I recently hauled. And um, I just think it's gorgeous. I love the stones. So we are going to... Uh, do a best offer on this necklace starting at $10. So I am going to uh, do my little clock here. So as soon as I say start, you guys can make your offers and start. Starting at $10. We have Darlene at 13. Forty seconds. <laughs> so too? It's gonna smell bad. You know, it's usually when people buy soap. Yeah. I wish you guys knew what was going on here in the background, okay? We have less than 20 seconds left, guys. So right now, it is uh, the offer is at $13. Uh, I believe they are. Yes, they are. They're pure steerings. They are pure steerings, yes. Oh, stop. <laughs> I already did it. Okay. <laughs> So it's 13, right? $13 and who won it? Darlene. 
Hoganson. Hol I don't know. I can't. Darlene, see. you won. Oh no! Wait a minute. I see Cheryl Hoskins at fifteen. That was after. And that was after. Oh, because on mine it showed before. Okay. Cheryl Hoskins. Yep, Cheryl Hoskins. I'm sorry, Darlene. Cheryl came in at 15, right above where Jessica typed stop. Uh, the wings are Dale's. You can just throw them out. All right. Uh, Jessica is going to come over here and um, do some of her Disney items. Okay, hey. I'm sorry, Darlene. Look at, he's trying to get whatever that is up on. Binks is trying to get food off the counter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, here comes Jessica, changing of the guards. Don't kill yourself over there. I can move some I don't of even stuff. know if I can get to my stuff. You can. You can. I'm going to move this stuff out of the oh, way. <laughs> it's me. Um, Actually, yeah, here. Set this down there, just so that way. I don't stab myself with these uh, cranes. I Ooh. can't believe nobody wanted my cranes. <laughs> I think they're awesome. Oh my God. I know they're heavy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with a Hold pair. Hold on a second. Let me just, let me just, um, I'm not gonna, I don't know. I just wanna move stuff over so when I come back over here, did these sell? Yes, they did. These went to Jeffrey Jeez, Ross. Jeez, will you be careful? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm just trying to move some of my stuff over, guys, for when I come back over here. Oh, so anyway, so back to what I was saying previously. I have some um, Care Bear stuff and um, some other, you know, like Hello Kitty, things like that. So... I will be incorporating Disney and kind of other things that I was collecting at a point in the next sale. Oh, hey, Misty. Hey, Misty. I'm just going to start and okay, then she can, she can catch up. I will catch up. Okay, so the first item that I have is a pair of ears. And these are brand new from the parks. Are we serious today? Binks. Oh my goodness. Dude. Dude. Oh, it's a fight with the cats today, guys. It's a pair of sequined Minnie Mouse ears. This is the rose gold style. Um, brand new from the parks. These are $15. Ears now are going for $29.99, and I'm pretty positive they still make and sell this style in the parks. Um, so $15, letter R. The next item is this ball cap. Okay, hold on. Darlene Holgerson gets letter R. Here, just come this way. Where was I here? But, like, okay, just stand on here. Stand on this chair. Just don't step on the stuff on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Y'all don't see too much of me. <laughs> Okay, next item. Uh, so anyways, this is a like a ball cap and it's got the Wilderness Explorer logo. So this is from Up, which is one of my most favorite Pixar films. Still has the tags on it from the park. This is $10 and it is letter D. Yeah, how you doing? Exactly, Nate. <laughs> the collection vintage gets letter D. This next grouping is three for the price of one. So these are all nightgowns. Now, I really wanted to try yeah, you got to, that right. to get nightgowns and to be in that vibe, but I just can't do it. 
They're all new with tags. So this one is a Winnie the Pooh one. This one is from Primark. So this was sent to me by one of my YouTube friends who lives in England. And then they're all size medium large. So probably like a size eight to 12. And yes, then- It's a night nice shirt, Karen. Then here's another Pooh one. This one is from the Disney store. It says, I'd rather be in bed and Pooh is sleeping. <laughs> and then we have Eeyore. This one, I think I, I don't see the tag on it. So I'm wondering if I had bought it and washed it with the intent of wearing it, but just never did. So there's the Eeyore one. And then also with that, I'm going to throw in a pair of kind of their past crew length crew length socks but it's pair of eeyore socks with a 3d little tail so if you like run and slide down the hallway eeyore's tail will slide uh are they knee length the um no not the oh. socks the night shirts i'm just shy of five five so let me see look at that mom i'm gonna just stand up so for me, they hit just above the knee. Like I would say like an inch above the knee. And I'm five, almost 5'5". Five, five. So for the three nightgowns and the pair of Eeyore socks, it is $24. So $8 a piece for the nightgowns. And it is letter S. I will fold these back up retail style after letter s the collection vintage uh the collection vintage all right next item is more of a vintagey item oh bother hold on i just gotta attach the sticker to one of these so this is a picture frame that i found when i went out thrifting uh <laughs> with my mom at some point so you can just stand it upright like this because it has a base, but then there's also like the little um, picture frame stand too. So here's the little cutout where you would put your picture. This is $6 and it is letter T. Caitlin, you get the frame. Where is that letter T? Caitlin. Okay, I'm trying to give people a wrench, but I can't do it on here for some reason. Mom, because you're on mine. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, this next one is one that I did, I think, in one of the first couple listings that I did with my mom. These are the last two of my Funkos that I have that are Disney-related. It is Roz from Monsters, Inc. and the Chef from Henry Housen's also for Monsters, Inc. So I put them down to $6 a piece, so 12 for the set, and it is letter V. Give, give uh, Nate a wrench on here. Mom, I don't know how to do that. All you gotta do is t tap their picture. Never mind. I'll take care of it. <laughs> uh, next item is an item that was unfinished, but I paid for it to get finished. I bought this fabric from Savers a while back, and it was just the raw edge. So I actually paid somebody to finish it for me. So it is a poo quilt. I'm going to have to stand up. So we have Piglet and poo and another little snippet of piglet and poo and then this is the back design of the fabric um the quilt is twenty dollars and it's pretty big i would say it's about what four feet ma four and a half feet yeah. maybe yeah it's a good size so twenty dollars and it is letter k
Thanks, Aaron. Next item. Oh, wait. Darlene Holgerson wants letter K. Next items are from Build a Bear Workshop. They, I want to say about a year ago, last summer, they released a Winnie the Pooh limited edition line. So I bought everything from the collection to do a YouTube video on. So in that collection as well, there was three other outfits. And this one is Eeyore with the hood. So this will fit on any Build-A-Bear bear or animal or probably any other plushy animal. So we have Eeyore, we have Tigger, and they all still have their tags on them. And then we have Piglet as well. Hey, Nate, how about modeling these for us? <laughs> um, I took the sticker off. Okay. So for the three of these, it's $15, and it is letter A. Jeffrey Ross. Next, Jeffrey Ross gets letter A. Next item is a lounge fly item. A lot of people know lounge fly really well. They do a lot of different collections for different fandoms, whether it be Disney or, you know, anything else. So this is actually a three piece cosmetic set. Um, so inside we have two other cases. So we have the biggest compartment, which is clear and it's got honey with poo. Then we have this smaller little zip pouch. And then we have almost like a, like a coin size or like a wallet size pouch. Again, brand new with the tags. So the three piece cosmetic set is $18. And it is number, or sorry, letter, uh, uh geez, letter Z. <laughs> <laughs> letter Z. The next item, I have several of these books. They're called The Art of Insert Film Name. Okay, Darlene, I got you down for letter Z. Um, this one is for Frozen. So basically, I like to refer to these as like a coffee table book. So this basically goes through the whole designing process of whatever movie it is. And this one happens to be Frozen. So it talks about the character developments, the different original designs that they took for, you know, different scenes or the actual um, characters themselves. This one's Olaf. We have some <laughs> concept art sketches. So this book is pretty big. Um, like I said, I've decided to keep the ones that I only collect the movies for. Frozen is not one of them. These books normally retail for about $40, and it has the Walt Disney Animation Studio emblem on the back. So for the Art of Frozen book, it is $20, and it is letter E for Elsa. Yeah, it's a pretty cool book, I must say. The, the uh, illustrations are pretty amazing. Um, the next item, last week I sold some Sooms. Well, these came shortly after the Sooms. They were called Ufufis. They started in Japan, and they're almost like a really squishy, they look like little, like, marshmallows. Um, and the plush in them is not anything that we're used to. Like, it's very, very squishy, almost like a marshmallow. So we have Grumpy and Dopey. And for the two of them, it is going to be $6, so $3 a piece, and it is letter G. And then this is like the tag art for them. But they, the, uh, the Disney store stopped making them. They didn't do very well in the U.S. like they did in Japan, so they discontinued that. Darlene Holgerson gets letter G. 
I have one more plush set for you guys. This is a very underrated Pixar film. This is Bugs Life. And these were all the plush that came out for the 20th anniversary. So they're all going to have the 20th anniversary tag. So this is Dot. And then we have Flick. Again, tags. And my most favorite from A Bug's Life is Heimlich. <laughs> so for the three of them, it will be $18. Letter B for Bug's Life. Oh, Heimlich, that cracks me up, that name. I just think of the Heimlich. He's just, he's a chubby caterpillar. And Heimlich he... maneuver, yeah, yes I did. <laughs> we had a Heimlich in the garden. <laughs> and then for, before I show you guys these, I kind of just want to ask if you're familiar with them first. Um, because if not, then I'm just going to take the item out. Are you guys familiar with the Disney pins? Um, you know, they sell them in the parks and cast members can trade. They do limited edition ones, stuff like that. Okay. I, I see a lot of yeses. Okay. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins. Now they're not all, they're all from the same line, but I only kept the ones that I wanted. So this is from the Disney store's 30th anniversary. So they did a pin for every um every time frame or every year that the disney store was open so it started in um i think 88 or 89 but the ones that i have that i'm offering for you guys is lightning mcqueen so he was from 2006 then we have enchanted from 2007 Chicken Little is 2005 so actually this is a complete set and then in this one, there are four, but I just added one in here. So we have Genie from Aladdin, 1992. And then for these remainder ones, we have Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph. I don't know what year he was. I can't remember, but it's covering it. Then we have the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. And then we have the Prince and the Pauper. So for the seven pins, now if you guys want to use these to trade in the parks or anything like that, since you guys are familiar with them, you know how costly they are. So for the set of seven, I'm only asking $20 and it is letter P for pins. I'm just trying to get these out <laughs> and, you know, make magic somewhere else. Karen Dondelinger gets letter P. And then the final item is a more expensive item, but it's something that I had bought in hopes of using myself personally, um, but I've decided to go a different route. So I bought this when I was a cast member. This is a three-piece crib set. Um, it includes the comforter, the crib sheet, and the crib skirt. So I'm going to just try and give you like a little bit of a close up. Actually, you know, it would probably be better on this side. So that kind of will show you like what the sheet looks like, what the comforter looks like. And I think the skirt is just um, a gray and maybe like an aqua stripe. So for the crib set, I'm asking $50.00. And what letter did I, oh, I gave the same letter. No, I used that one for something okay, else, didn't I? Okay, how about, um... Uh, we'll do letter T, $50. Um, Casey, uh, we live in, um, in New York State. So she worked at, at the Disney store here in New York. Yeah. And just so you know, too, it's not super heavy. Like I had my mom hold it. I would guess it's probably like maybe two pounds or so, maybe two and a half. That's it for me. All right.
Now I just have to move my stuff back to my little peasant table. Changing of the guards. <laughs> and the prisoner. Oh. Well, I gotta get the stuff off the chair. Damn. <gasps> trying to go in the cold basement. <laughs> well, Ma, sit in the chair and move the stuff over here. So that way you can. All right. Home. I am back. Ugh. Okay, I don't know what this went to, but. Okay. Just trying to make and some room so my son can go back go by and go back down cellar. Just fill this up for <laughs> so, me and hand it to me. just be I'm patient, please. Container. Hello, Paula. Hey. All right. Okay, there you go, son. Say hi on your way out. See you later. Bye. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, everybody. Wow, we got 302 people in here. Yay! Thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> All right, let's move on here. Okay. So, I have a Butterfly Gold Pyrex Butterfly Gold butter dish yes yes connie you can email me i keep i have all the stuff um with me so i know what's going because on because most people who buy my stuff already bought something from her right. so it's just easier to just do it through yeah her. i keep track of of it all so i have uh it's in perfect condition there's no cracks no chips and this is ten dollars and it's number 31. ten dollars number 31. margaret matthews okay margaret you get number 31 the butterfly gold butter dish all right i have one more piece of milk glass today and it is the Daisy Button, I don't know, Daisy Buttons and something. <laughs> I forgot the name of the pattern. <laughs> but anyways, it is a top hat. It's very cool. And it's a good size. So this is $10. And it's number seven. Ten dollars, number seven for the top hat. Very cool piece. Margaret Matthews. Okay, Margaret Matthews, number seven goes to you. Uh, I only had a few pieces of milk glass today, so you didn't really miss much. All right, I'm going to try this item again. Um, it didn't sell. I, I tried this item in my very first live sale, but I thought I'd give it another shot, um, and I lowered the price. And it is this vintage love story music box figurine. It still has the original tag on it, and it is made by Price Imports Japan really cool it does work so this awesome um, music box or musical figurine is ten dollars and it's number 38 ten dollars number 38 All right. Uh, let me put this over here. All right. I am also going to uh, give... Darlene. Okay, Darlene, you get the Love Story musical figurine. All right. I have a very cool mid-century modern piece. Um, 
that I tried to sell in one of my earlier live sales and it did not sell, so I did lower the price. It's a very cool piece. Um, I believe it's by California Pottery, if I'm not mistaken. It is this very cool, um, I believe it's like a chip and dip set. It has the two compartments on the end for your dips. And then, you know, your chips would go in the center. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, it did have um, a few areas where it had some chips, which I um, actually um, touched up with some black enamel paint. But this is the bottom. So you get this very cool mid-century modern piece for $15 and it's number 41. $15, number 41. Ah! <laughs> as long as I don't break it. Cheryl Hoskins. All right, Cheryl. It's a really cool piece. It does have a little bit of, um, let me show you on here if I can. Well, let me, hang on guys. Let me just tighten this because I was going to take it off. It does have a little wear on the top of the handle there. I just wanted to make you aware. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me put this over here. Uh, this one. I'm running out of room, guys. Ugh. Sophie, get out of there. Don't you touch those trees. <laughs> get out of there. Yeah. Boy, we are fighting with these cats today. They are into everything today. All right. What was number 36? The brass wall plaques. Okay, so that's where this came off of. I don't know where they went, but whatever. All right. I have another item that I tried to sell, I think, in my first live sale, and I thought I would give it another shot. This is a very cool piece. Um, would you put something under it to keep it warm, like a candle? Yeah, you put a, you put a, uh, uh, what do they call those things? Those, um, oh my goodness. The little round things that the flame comes out of, you light them. I forgot what they call them. But anyways, it's this very cool, this is an awesome piece. It is a Pyrex lidded dish with the st sterno. That's it. Thank you, Barb. And you put the sterno pack down here to keep your stuff warm that's in your dish. Uh, this is an excellent condition. Here is the bowl that goes inside. You can see there says Pyrex. And this is the cradle. It's got nice designs on it. Going down the legs. And it's in excellent condition. Not a dent or anything anywhere. It's a really, really nice piece. So I'm offering this piece for $14. And it's number 43. There you go. $14, number 43. Polly's Projects. All right, Paula. You get number 43. All right. Okay, I have... Um, this vintage set of bookends. These are kind of unusual. They're this, uh, like a sage green color and it has the scene of a covered, not a covered wagon, but a stagecoach with the horses and the trees out like, looks like the side of a mountain or something. And you get the set of them. This part is metal, 
And this is, resin, I'm not sure, I think. I think it might be resin. But they're really neat looking. So you get the pair for $12, number 39. $12, number 39. They're definitely different. Georgie Campbell. Okay, Georgie. I think I got these at an estate sale last, um, last summer. So... Okay, I have a couple thermoses. Uh, these are, they have liquid inside and you can uh, put them in the freezer and then put your drink inside to keep it cold. They are like brand new. I don't think they were ever used and they are Aladdin. Um, and it says six ounces. So they're six ounces and they call it an ins insulated thermo jar. So very cool. Cold food, Ma, not liquid. Yeah. No, there's liquid inside. Oh, no, I know, but you said for your drink. Yes. You could either put a cold drink in here or you could put cold food. You like something that you want to keep cold, like a, you know. I just didn't think six ounces of liquid was substantial. Yeah, well, it's not. But anyway, I have two of these, okay? So for this one, it's $6 and it's number 48. $6, number 48. Uh, vintage thrifted treasure. Okay, Laura. Thank you, Laura. And same thing. Same thing. For this one, it's six dollars, number forty-eight again. Yes, I, I'm assuming you can put hot and cold in here. Um, like I said, you shake it, there's liquid inside. So if you wanted to keep something cold, you would stick this in the freezer and put your cold food in here. And then if you wanted to keep something hot, you would just use it as is. But it is Aladdin. So. All right, so we just sold the one to um, Laura. Hi, Binks. Hi, buddy. Oh, my goodness. These they're cats. They're literally all over They're, the like, place driving today. us crazy today. Hi, bud. Oh, my goodness. Dude, you can't lay on me right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even take it. All right. Next, I have a really cute little angel. <laughs> Binks, say hi. Binks. <laughs> My goodness. I, they don't like treats. They do not like treats. I try and give them treats and they don't like them. They just leave them sit on the floor and then I step on them in my socks. <laughs> All right, I have this adorable little best friend's angel still in the box. She's absolutely adorable. I know it's kind of hard to see her, but I don't want to take her out of the box. Um, this is Department 56. Okay, and she was originally $14.99. She's adorable. So I'm offering her for $8, and she is number nine. $8, number nine. Bye, Nate. Thank you for coming, buddy. Holly's Projects. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later at Vinny's. Vinny's got a live sale today, too, guys, but I forgot what time. Do you need me to hand you something? No, I have it right here. Okay. <laughs> All right. We are going to do another best offer item, which is 
Hang on, let me get my my timer uh, set up. Your iPad's battery is low, like ten percent. Oh yes, something. it is. Let me plug. Hang on, guys. Let me plug in my iPad real quick. All right, it is time for best offer. We are going for. Creepy Santa. Creepy Santa. Yes. He is awesome. He's still in really good shape. So when I say start, we are going to start the bidding on this cool thing. <laughs> this cool thing. This cool Santa. We're gonna start the offers at $10. Okay, are you ready? Start. I know he's not creepy, but Jessica thinks he's creepy. <laughs> I think he's cool. He's, I think, he, look at his face. He's so cute. <laughs> I love him. Yep. He's cute. 30 seconds left, guys. We're at $18 for a best offer so far. <laughs> You think Jessica's right, Anna? <laughs> okay, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Lori. Lori Wortley. Wortley. Lori, you got Santa. Yay. All right. Um, awesome. He's not written down. Yes, he is. Yeah. Kind of a glass. A no. Fan, necklaces. Oh, I thought I wrote him. Well, just make him number 58. So, Laurie, he's going to be number 58, okay? It doesn't matter. It's just Santa auction. It's not an auction. It's a best offer. Oh, Santa best offer. Right, but whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness. I still got quite a few things, guys. I got to move along here. All right. Who's 58? Who had 58? No, 58 is your is the number that we're giving it, um, Lori. All right. I'm going to try something a little different today. Um, are there any Star Trek fans out there? Well, I don't want to be like somebody else, so I'm calling it Best Offer. Um, okay, uh, so I have a couple Star Trek pieces here. Uh, I have this very cool set of Star Trek Pez dispensers. Was it the 25th anniversary? The 25th uh, anniversary or the next generation. So that's the back and it's brand new, never been opened. So for this set of uh, Pez dispensers is $12 and it's number six. $12, number six. Polly's Projects. All right, Paula. You get the Star Trek Pez dispensers. All righty. Okay, I have one more Star Trek item, and this is pretty cool. This is... The Star Trek Enterprise model of the, the Enterprise. Um, 
it, the box has been opened and so was the packaging. It was opened and they never put it together. So let me show you. I believe all the pieces are here. I just got to double check something. Uh, that is for that. Okay. It got stuck somewhere. Yeah. So this is the inside. We have, hang on, the bag's the wrong way. <laughs> the stuff's falling out, but here is the one part of it. It was still actually in the bag. It comes with all the rest of the pieces, the directions. These are still sealed in the bag. Stickers. And it has all of the, um, decals. the decals. So as you can see, everything's here. So for this cool <laughs> model, I am asking uh, $15 for it, and it's number 47. $15, number 47. Very cool. USS Enterprise. Nellie. Oh, there you go, Nellie. You got it, girl. So there we go. Just want to stick the thing back on there so I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have this very cool <laughs> vintage nutcracker. <laughs> this guy is the coolest thing ever. All you do is you put the nut in his mouth and turn this and it raises up until it cracks the nut. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> so this is $7 and it's number 50. Yeah, it looks like Popeye. $7, number 50. <laughs> Georgie Campbell. All right, Georgie. There you go, girl. <laughs> All right. Okay, next I have a really beautiful set of uh, pictures. They are angel pictures. Let me lower this just a little bit. There we go. And like the frames and everything are in perfect condition. There are no uh, nicks in the frames, anything. So here is the first one. Let me show you the picture up close. Okay, and then this one. Look, it's Nate. <laughs> Nate left. I know he left. So, this is the picture. It is a 9 by 10 is the size. And these were originally $17 a piece. Okay, so you get the pair of them for $20. And they are number five. $20 number five for these gorgeous uh, cherub pictures. They're just, they're beautiful. All right. Ugh. I have another piece of carnival glass for you guys. Now, this is a heavy piece. It weighs a little over five pounds, but it's gorgeous. So I thought I would give it a shot. So I am mailing from um, New York State. Uh, my zip code is 14301. And I have this gorgeous blue carnival glass, the grape leaf pattern. 
It's absolutely gorgeous. No chips, no cracks. Isn't it beautiful? Um, it does have flaws back here where it was made. They're, they're not chips or anything because they're very smooth. It was like the in the manufacturing of it. But it is just gorgeous. And like I said, it's a, just a little over five pounds. So this is $20 and it's number 14. $20, number 14. Beautiful. Okay. All righty. I decided to give this um, item another shot. It didn't sell in one of my previous um, live sales, so I thought I would try again, and I did lower the price some. I'm just trying to get the tag off here. It is this gorgeous candle holder. It's a taper candle holder, and it's made in Italy, and it's a pottery piece. And it's just beautiful. Love the, the colors and the floral design on it. So for this piece, it's $12 and it's number 23. Isn't it beautiful? Let me show you up close. And it's kind of like um, you can feel it. Yeah, they carved it. They, it's the like they carved it. They carved it into the pottery. Georgie Campbell, I believe, gets number 23. Yeah, I was just answering somebody's question. Oh, okay. Thank you, Georgie. It's really a beautiful piece. Just trying to put the tag back on there. You guys, my shoulder is just, it's killing me. Oh, my gosh. All right. I know, it really is pretty. It really, oh my God, you guys. Binks is just like hanging on to me for dear life. Look at. <laughs> oh, all right. Next I have this adorable strawberry napkin holder. And it's a decent size. You can put quite a few napkins in there. I have no idea, you know, who made it. It doesn't say anything on there. But the strawberries are only on one side. And this is $12, number 44. $12, ow, number 44. Oh, my God, dude, you're killing me. Oh, <laughs> Oh, come on. You got to get down, buddy. Stop digging your nails into my fat rolls. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> what number was that? Oh, my God. I don't know. <laughs> 44. <laughs> okay. Next, I have a piece of Goofus glass. Some people really like this. I'm not one of them. <laughs> but here it is. This is Goofus glass. And of course, the way they paint it, you know, the paint does come off, as you can see around the bottom. Um, yeah. I don't know. Go figure. Oh, you got your glasses? Good, Judy. It's called Goofus Glass. So as you can see, it's a bunch of roses and, and leaves. And it's about, it's probably about seven, eight inches tall. I don't think so. I would say. Seven inches, I would say. So it's $10 and it's number 32. $10, number 32. 
I know, there are quite a few people that collect it. Uh, let me see here. Okay, I have some plates that are next. If anybody out there is from Washington, I have this really, really cool Washington plate. This is Washington, D.C., and it has all of the monuments on there. Hmm. Washington, D.C. is in Virginia. So what? I said Washington, D.C. It's a Washington plate, I said. I said if everyone's from Washington. Like from Washington, from Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so we have Mount Vernon, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, the Lincoln Memorial, the Capitol Building, the Washington Monument, the White House, and the Jefferson Memorial. And I just thought it was a really, really pretty plate. So this is $8, and it's number four. $8, number four. Caitlin B. All right, Caitlin. Yep, geography was not my strong suit in school. I could like, you know, I'm terrible. And I do admit it. <laughs> yes, they do, especially that one. You do it to me too. Yes, but I'm the mother. I'm supposed to. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> All right, next I have this really nice set of lighthouse plates. These are Royal Norfolk. So we have the red lighthouse. Uh, no, the strawberry napkin holder is still available. Uh, strawberry napkin. It's number 44 and it was $12. And then we have this one. So you get the set of two for $12, number 28. $12, number 28. All right, I showed this item in one of my haul videos. And someone had asked me about buying it and never, it never went any further. But if you have one of those standing ashtrays, then this would go perfectly in it. Uh, it's this beautiful uh, crystal looking <laughs> ashtray. It almost looks like the Wexford uh, glass. But it's really, really pretty, and this would go perfectly in one of those standing ashtrays. So this is number, um, it's $13, and it's number 49. $13, number 49. Ooh, another hot flash. All right, next I have a Fire King pie plate. It's in really, really great condition. And it is, I believe, nine inch or 10 inch. It's a 10 inch pie plate. You can see the Fire King logo on the back. And it's really in great condition. There's no utensil marks or cut marks or anything. So this pie plate is $8 and it's number 29. $8, number 29. Okay, next I have, um, this hand-hammered tray. 
it's really cool. It has, oh, Connie Ansley wants number 29. Gotcha, Connie. Um, this hand hammered tray, look at the handles. It's really cool. And it has, bye Renee, thanks for stopping. So this is, uh, it has like um, sporting things on here. We have horses, skiing. bye Casey, skiing, golfing, golfing fishing. fishing, a dog, hunting, a, a hunting, and then this is the back. It's yeah. really cool. It kind of looks galvanized it's, a little bit. Yeah, it kind of yeah, it does kind of look galvanized, but it's a really cool rustic looking tray. And this is eight dollars and it's number forty-six. Eight dollars number forty-six. You're welcome, Connie. Crazy doxy lady. She said number thirty-six. Oh, 36 was the brass wall plaques. Uh, 46. 46. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tanya, it's all yours. No, wait a minute. I don't know. I can't keep people's names, keep them. Crazy Doxy Lady, are you Tanya? I can't keep everybody's names straight. I think so. Okay, so did she buy the... No. No? She got the... Plate. No. Who asked about this? Did they buy it? No, it was the pie plate. Oh, yeah. They asked about it, but they didn't say anything. They didn't say anything? Did anybody want the strawberry napkin holder? Because Nancy. Okay. You're Nancy. And the other one... Hemlock lady is Tanya. I'm sorry, um, Nancy. Somebody asked about the strawberry napkin holder if it's sold or not. Oh, Grace did. Okay, she did Grace. I think Grace left. All right. Uh, let me see. I have just a few more items. I have this really cool set of tins. So it's the set of two. These are like mid-century modern. They do have some yellowing on there, as you can see. You know, they're old. They do have, you know, some issues. These are made by Wybro, Chicago. But it's the set of two. I think they're like so cool. So you get the set of two for $12 and they're number 16. $12, number 16. Yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. Lynn K. All right, Lynn. And they're nice because they nest inside, so it's easier for shipping. So, all right. Okay. Uh, Did you need me to grab it? No, I got it. Okay, for you teapot lovers out there, did I sell the mid-century bar glasses? I didn't have any for sale today. I didn't have those for sale today, Judy. All right, the teapot lovers out there, I have a gorgeous teapot for you. Why? The hummingbird. Oh. Thank you, Violet. Look at this teapot. Is this not gorgeous? And it is in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. Isn't it beautiful? Um, and this is another piece by Lena. Lena Lee, I think her name is. It was a telefloral, and as I said, it's in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. There's gorgeous flowers on the other side. So this beautiful teapot is only $12, and it's number 12. 
$12, number 12. Georgie Campbell. Georgie, all right, girl. Okay. Just trying to put the tag back on so I can keep track. Okay, so next I have, um, this actually was sent to me by Sarah from Thrift U. And I did keep it for about a year in my bathroom, but um, I have changed things around. So now I'm going to sell it off and give it a new home. So it is this gorgeous set. It is the Swan and the two matching candle holders. These are the candle holders. They're in excellent condition, no cracks, no chips. Aw, oh, thank you, Melissa. <laughs> um, and it is made in Japan. So you get the three-piece set for $14. And it's number 15, $14, number 15. Randy okay, Randy. That's going to a new home with Randy. All right. Next up, I have some Corningware Blue Cornflower. How was that on there? Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, hold on a second, guys. Anyways, let me show you the first one. We have this really nice saucepan. And it, they're in excellent condition. I do not think these were even used. You can tell because look at the name on the bottom. It's not faded. It's not scratched. Anything. Perfect condition. So I have this size. That's all right. That's okay. And then I have this size, which is a little bit bigger. You can see. This one's a little bit deeper, but again, perfect condition. Look at that. I don't think they were ever used, honestly. So this one has a lid. So you get the two piece set in excellent condition for $14. And these are number 51. Fourteen dollars, number fifty-one. Lynn Johnson. Lynn Johnson gets number fifty-one. They are they are brand new. I'm telling you. Um, I have one more regular item to sell, and then I have another um, best offer item. Um, I don't know if anybody's going to want these, but I'm just throwing it out there. So I have, these are Corelware. I have a set of three Butterfly Gold coffee cups. This is what they look like. They're in excellent condition. I don't think these were ever used either. So there's three cups. And I have one, six, seven saucers. Seven saucers. So you get the whole set, three cups, seven saucers for $14, and they're number 33. $14, number 33 for the whole set. Alrighty, so for our last best offer item, uh, 
I have this vintage fan. Ow, Binks. Oh, my God. By the time this sale is over, I'm going to need a tourniquet. This vintage fan, it does work. When I plugged it in, it does go around, but it, it needs oiling and because it goes like really slow. And it probably could use a better cord <laughs> or it needs to be repaired. But it's awesome. And it's that really cool green color. So I am going to start offers for this. Yeah, what a great decor piece, exactly. So for this awesome piece, I am going to start offers at um, $15. Let me just get my, um, my timer here. All right, so starting at $15, go. Yep, it is an awesome, awesome decor piece. Okay, Georgie, thanks for coming, honey. Look at those. I love the design on the, the fan blades. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> so we have about 10 seconds left, everyone. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, stop. Holly's Projects, 27. Paula, yay! You got it for $27. Awesome. That's great. I'm glad. It's a really, really cool piece. All right, I guess that's everything. That is everything I have for you guys today. And wow, I've been on here for quite a while. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I want to say thank you so much to everybody that came today. And uh, I hope you enjoy all of your goodies. I will get working on uh, packing and invoices tomorrow. So, yes, thank you, and enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Lori. Thank you. Hold on, I gotta do the How much for the carnival glass pitcher? Uh, $20, and it was number 14 for the carnival glass pitcher. There's my email address, but it's not a capital H. It doesn't matter. Well, sometimes it does. It's a, uh, all lowercase letters. So. I've been sending it in this way this whole time. Oh, okay. Well, because usually if it's a small letter and they put a capital, it won't go through. Anybody interested before I close out the sale? Aw, uh, thank you. Yeah, I know. I gotta, I think I, I gotta go get a cortisone shot. Um, if I already have your information and you've bought from me uh, more than once, no, you do not need to email me. Only if you have never purchased from me before well still email her what you purchased but you don't right. have to send your you don't have to info. send me your shipping info and stuff like that just what you ordered or what you purchased and i think cynthia i'm a toronto bought number 14 cynthia are you the taker of this gorgeous carnival glass pitcher you're welcome tina
Okay. All I right. Marked her down. Okay, we got you there, Cynthia. You're all good to go. Yeah, cortisone. I'll be going shortly. <laughs> did anyone buy the other thermos? Uh, no, they did not. It is, it's this uh, thermos right here, Caitlin. Hi, Nate. <laughs> Caitlin said okay, you Caitlin, it. you get the uh, other thermos then for six bucks. Awesome. All right. I, I didn't go through the other the items that didn't sell because there were quite a few today. So I'll just try them again at a late, later date. <laughs> so anyways, yes, Nate, let me show you the picture of you um because you weren't here. Look, Nate. <laughs> Look, there you are. <laughs> Hanging around as usual, Nate. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, everybody. Uh, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks so much for coming. May I'm sure I'll see most of you at Vinny's sale um, in a little while. So take care. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.